How the hell did child labor laws get repealed in the first place? If Arkansas could do it, what is stopping other states from doing it? How are we regressing instead of progressing? This is messed up because instead of making wages higher, they're just going to give the jobs to kids for the same crummy wages who do not know any better. Soon they will make schooling past 6th grade optional, so they get those fresh 12-year-olds onto the factory floor. Maybe letting people just buy laws isn't a great way to run a country. Unions ended child labor a century ago. Then, conservatives, villainized unions. This is one of the expected results. Coming soon to a workplace near you. A 13-year-old girl will be denied maternity leave and be forced to work through her pregnancy. Because A-M-E-R-I-C-A-A-A. Don't even think about trying to abort. We're going to saddle this child with several thousands of dollars of medical debt three years before. She can even drive, six years before she can vote and have a say about it. Conservatives have no shame. This is beyond disgusting. Because America is an oligarchy and the government favors whatever is best for the wealthy. The parties only exist at this point to maintain the illusion. Funny how the mere existence of trans people is somehow child abuse but literal child abuse is fine. They don't even see how ridiculous they are. The cognitive dissonance is so strong with these Christofascists m. Don't vote Republican. Republicans are only pro-life before someone is born. Once they get pushed out of the uterus they are on their own and if they need support or welfare. Queens. Pretty obvious how this was planned out. Create lots of jobs on paper. But the only ones that actually exist are not paying enough to live on. Cry great big crocodile tears about no one wants to walk anymore. Saw a great R that showed clips from newspapers going back over 100 years with the same exact. Quote. R-O-F-L. Then justify allowing child labor by citing lack of adults willing to do jobs that don't pay enough to live on. We're allowing this by repeatedly electing millionaires into office. They don't care about the rest of us because they don't see us as human. We are cattle. To be managed. Distract with anything they can come up with. Objectionable books. People with different lifestyles. Anything that can divide and isolate groups as other. Weakening the whole. Easier to control smaller groups than larger group. So the more they can divide us up. The better. And we just keep falling for it. They're laughing all the way to the bank. Did you see that picture where they had the signing ceremony? That evil slime ball gov of Ark smiling huge. All the other adults smiling huge. But the kids kinda look like they just got told they have a dentist appointment every day for the next month. The red states get their model legislation from the same few think tanks. So I bet legislatures in other states will soon be considering similar legislation. I fled SC in 2015. Now live in OR. Best decision I ever made. I left with nothing. Was homeless for a while. But with the much higher minimum wage and the universal health care. My life is much better now. People should get out while they still can. Because it's not their kids who will be affected. Tyson is HQ here and has 11 Y.O. illegals working in their chicken houses. Rather than obey the law they've used their swing to just change the law. It's frightening that the US is becoming more and more like a third world country every week. If you ask me which country had dirty water, allowed pollution for profit, treated women as second class citizens or property, didn't care about safety regulations, and allowed child labor in sweatshops, I would have guessed South America, Africa, or India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, or China, not up rich advanced 
first world country like the US. Yes, we're just regressing. The USA is an oligarchy and has been an enemy of the well-being of American workers essentially all of its existence. The USA put up a facade of not being for the wealthy at the expense of everyone else for a very short time when presented with the credible threat of the Soviet Union. That threat is now gone and there's no reason to continue pretending. HTTPS www.dal.gov slash agencies slash whd slash child labor can't violate federal law we just have to wait on the courts they're just going to give the jobs to kids for the same crummy wages lol please they aren't going to pay them the same as an adult when they welcomed women into the workforce did they pay them the same they want your whole family working on that factory floor making only enough to live off of. These Republicans will make sure everyone has jobs. LOL and these idiots will keep voting for them thinking they are lucky that they have jobs. And that their children have jobs. And that their parents kept working until they died at their jobs. For the record. All they changed was that 14-15 year olds don't need to get permission from the state government. Before getting a job, previously they had to get approval via a short application form. While I don't care either way because it's still up to those kids or their parents on whether they work or not, it is consistently being written with a headline that all child labor laws are being removed and that's simply not the case. This specific situation is only changing the process of the application for 14 and 15 year old. Source. HTTPS. www.npr.org slash 2023 slash 03 slash 10 slash 11625318885 slash Arkansas Child Labor La Wonder 16 years old Sarah Huckabee Zanders hash. Text equals under percent 20 the percent 20 youth percent 20 hiring percent 20 act percent 20 of percent 200 2023 percent 2 C percent 20 children percent 20 under percent 2016 of percent 20 jobs percent 20 kids percent 20 CA N percent 20 work. My stepmom believes the problems with the economy and inflation and labor shortages is because high school and college kids won't work i was dumbfounded and didn't even know where to start to respond i'm sure the issue lies in the fact that she only sees expensive eggs and fast food drive thrifts without workers and that's the extent of her problems but if this is what she believes i'm sure it's a common perspective and therefore the solution would be to grab a 12 yo to fill the void it's infuriating and antisocial did they though? Most states require a worker's permit to be signed by a parent to allow 14-15 year old kids to work. But not all of them do. This now includes Art Kansas. Initially I got baited by the hyperbolic statements about child labor laws being repealed alongside the photo of the Arkansas Gov. with some really young children that is apparently unrelated to the bill. Honestly. This bill doesn't seem like a huge deal. Ideally 14-15 year olds wouldn't be working at all but there are going to be scenarios where they want or need to. Obviously in an ideal system that would never come up. Specifically the need to work. But we have to deal with the current system. The change in Arkansas removed the requirement of the state to verify the age before the person could be employed. I'm in Canada and if that law existed when I was a teenager. I didn't know about it. I started work on farms around the age of 13. I got paid in cash thoughts it might have been illegal. We also had potato break where we'd go back to school early and in September we'd get 23 weeks off to go pick potatoes. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.